Hello everyone, Odex here, welcome to episode 77 of my season 2 Let's Play. So I'm here in my B area because I'm gonna abandon it for the couple of few episodes. Because as, as I've said in the previous episode, today I'm planning to start my HV Solar Array project. Now, a brief um, explanation of what it is in case you're not aware. Um, two resets ago, playing on the Forgecraft server, uh, Chicken Bones built a very interesting project, which was a self-expanding high-voltage solar array, uh, red power system and crafting system. Basically, he kept creating solar arrays, kept feeding it all into mass fabricator, the UU method kept creating more solar, solar array, and it just kept feeding itself. Now, at the time, I was very uh, incompetent with almost everything red power, and I didn't really know I was really scared about it. But now I think it's quite an awesome project, and except for the concept, I don't remember anything. And you also use mostly Buildcraft to create it. I'm going to use Fabricators. So the design is my own. However, the idea is chicken bones, so I'm not going to take the credit for him. Uh, it is his idea. I don't know where he got it from, but yeah, it's quite an awesome idea. So to begin with, I actually would like to create an age similar to my mining age, a desert age, which is permanently daylight. Because um, I simply just want a very flat area, which is very easily traversed. And permanent daylight, of course, because I don't want to lose any daytime with my solar rays. And I want to create a separate age, specifically because if for any reason either my quarry or my new machine will cause, I don't know, a crash to the world, make it corrupted, I don't know, anything weird, I don't want it to take both projects together. Even though my red power quarry seems stable for now, I don't want my new project for some reason to corrupt the world and like destroy it completely. So I'm going to start by uh, trying to create uh, a new age. Hopefully it will be a stable one uh, within the few, few first tries and we can get started. Alright, so quick tangent from my HV solar array uh, plan. It's been over an hour now that I've been trying to create a stable age and after some serious research, I figured out what's the problem. Uh, this is basically like the old Mistcraft. You must have a specific set of properties or stuff in an age to make it stable. And the problem is, and actually as you can see, I've ordered everything in a new uh, way. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain I understand most of those th stuff, what they do. and. The problem that I'm experiencing right now is anything regard to celestial bodies, everything that's in the sky. I have moon, I have the moon uh, uh, symbols, I have a sun symbol, but I don't have a star symbol. And according to information online, mainly the Mistcraft official wiki, if you don't include a star symbol, you will always have a problem with your age, no matter what. Now, I've created a template which I try to replicate every time, uh, which is the desert hills, a single, single biome, zero length, noon, normal sun, normal moon, standard lightning, flat, and the weather. On its own, this template basically is, is uh, unstable because it doesn't include the star symbol. However, I don't have a star symbol. So I'm pretty much just uh, rolling my dice here every single time hoping for the best and I'm pretty much every time you create an age almost every time you also get um, you sometimes get this uh, libraries those small libraries which may contain additional pages and I'm actually just keep keep uh, rolling my dice here to hopefully eventually get a library which will contain um, the stars pages you can see this is already age 52 and my previous age was, was age uh, 34 i've been through a lot of ages and i can't seem to be able to get a proper age every single time there is some sort of weakness uh the age seems fine but the problem is because there is no star symbol and that's my assumption here it might might not be it uh i'm i kind of have no choice so every time i create a new age come here and hopefully find something so again tiny biomes eternal storm lava lakes and there are always this hidden chest 
uh, green hills biome, another biome, another biome control, normal moon, almost, west, and desert biome, no star symbols. So, and actually sometimes uh, there is also those uh, thumbcroft obelisks, that I loot for some nice loot, but mostly, yeah, I'm just, I'm considering actually going back to that villager that I had found and trading him for some more pages but this is pretty much just the same and it's cheaper finding those libraries and every time I just pick up the book and throw it away and eventually I'm just gonna delete all those ages from the actual game files because I'm not interested in them and I actually can't back to them even if I want to so yeah that's what I'm doing right now and I'm actually hoping to get this over with very very soon Okay, so in one of my ages I just managed to find uh, the Ender, uh, Ender Starfield, yep, uh, which is not normal stars, but it does count as some sort of a star layer, or a star property, or whatever. So let's try doing that now. If I was correct, this should be a stable age, unless there is something wrong here, or I'm still missing some sort of property, although from what I understand I shouldn't be missing anything. Let's see if this will be a stable age. Okay, so the sky, as you can see, they have this... Okay, there is still some sort of problem. Apparently I have weakness here. Okay, this is kind of annoying because mostly I don't really understand what's the problem. If I could understand at least what's the problem, what am I missing, that would be great, but I don't. And this is kind of counterintuitive. How are you supposed to know what you're doing wrong? There is doesn't seem to be any sort of indicator what's wrong. Obviously something is wrong because I do have weakness. Although weakness is not that bad, but I don't want to be in a corrupted age. Just have no clue what's wrong. And it's kind of annoying. I won't lie. Okay, so I'm going to keep going with this. Okay, the th unthinkable has happened. It seems like I've managed to create a stable age. No, it seems to be lightning. Oh, no. Those lightning storms will get annoying. And I think they can actually damage my contraptions, so that's bad. Yep, still haven't solved it then. Still having a problem. Okay, seems like I managed to finally find a stable age. Now, I did do something out of the ordinary to actually get there. I didn't just keep rolling the dice. Um, and, I've, yeah, I've been here for a couple of minutes now to make sure there are no thunderstorms, no lightning storms, no whatever. Um, fortunately, the skies will be permanently black. However, the, this, it's actually daylight right now. So even though it seems like the skies are at night, they actually aren't. Should be fine. Actually, let me show you what did I do differently, and I don't know how or why it happened. I've managed to get, for some reason, five of those uh, unknown pages. So I decided to add to my 61st uh, descriptive book, I decided to add uh, that unknown page at the end. And for some reason, it works. I don't know why it works but it works. So, I'm gonna keep that age. I'm gonna treat this as my new solar powered age. So I'm gonna get a new linking book here. I don't like using descriptive books. And I can store age 61. Rename it um, HV factory. You can store that one and this one rename it completely to remove 61 HV solar factory. All right, and place that here. Okay, so Let's get started, let me start explaining to you guys how this farm is going to work and why it's going to work, because it's not that obvious. If you're not familiar with some things, you may not understand why it works. Um, basically, as I've said previously, 
This entire farm consists of... By the way, I've turned my red power query, don't be afraid. I've turned it uh, on purpose because it was causing some lag. Um, a solar array, an HV solar array, um, can be crafted. Its most basic materials eventually can be crafted from UU matter. You actually need, you need coal, glass, copper, resin, redstone, iron, tin, diamond, gold, and wood. Those are the, I think, 11 basic materials that you're going to need in order to create a solar, uh, high voltage solar array. And you can actually, if you look into it, you'll see why. For example, for the HV transformer, you're going to need here diamond and redstone. You're going to need some resin and refined iron. Um, gold and refined iron, so more refined iron. Basically, everything eventually leads to those basic materials, and all of them can be created with EU matter. And this is how this entire uh, project is going to work. So, I'm gonna start this episode at least. I'm gonna start with creating the actual uh, factory first, not the actual um, HV solar array placement and uh, energy generation. So there will be no energy generation first, but I do have 146 stacks of already UU matter, existing UU matter, which I'm going to test on this f on this factory before I can actually start creating the uh, solar arrays. And this will also let me basically create the first solar array to begin with and then start from there. Because uh, again, as I said previously, this factory will keep feeding itself. It will create a solar array uh, set it up in the actual farm and then that extra energy will create more UU matter to create another solar array faster and keeps going on and on and on and on. It'll just keep going infinitely until either a creeper explodes, a lightning strikes or something unfortunate happens. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'm going to actually do uh, a thing before I get started. I'm going to create a new network for UU Matter, which will be a new Ender Chest network for UU Matter. I think I'm going to use pink. Actually, let's use uh, magenta. Oh, no. Let's use pink, because UU Matter is pink. So I'm going to create a new Ender Chest network. I'm going to create a couple of those chests, because I may use them uh, in a few places. And I don't want to limit myself uh, to only one or something. Just going to get a couple, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I created four in the chest for now, and I'm quickly going to add priority to this network here. So every UU matter created will first go in this chest, and only once this is full, it will go into the barrel. This is a very temporary solution. I don't plan to store that much extra UU matter here anyway. Uh, I plan because once the factory is set up, uh, all UU matter uh, will change into HU solar rays. Why is my information panel broke? broken. Well, everything seems to work fine. Uh, for some reason, the information is going crazy. I don't know. Maybe because I'm traversing ages, it tends to happen. Okay, so I have my inner chest ready. Uh, one more thing, though. I do have a lot of fabricators, and you can actually, you can start seeing, if I'm going to place them down, you can, I can show you most of the recipes for uh, the UU matter. For example, if I recall correctly, this is, for example, redstone. So this will be redstone, I think this is resin, and so on and so forth. So I, the 11 materials that I've mentioned, I'm going to need to create all of them with different fabricators. So this is why I'm going to create all those fabricators. However, um, I think, yes, yeah, seven out of the different materials actually needs to be processed. So I think uh, this is wood. Wood, for example, needs to be processed. The process is very, very simple. It just needs to be pr uh, made from um, the logs into actual uh, crafting wood. Uh, however, some things like iron and gold actually needs to be smelted. I cannot use an iron ore as is, it needs to be smelted. So I'm going to create the set of uh, industrial craft machines that will actually care take care of the processing. So I'm going to need a macerator for the coal, I'm going to need an extractor for the resin, and I'm going to need five smelters for the all different kind of ores. So there is copper, tin, iron and gold. Now those are four materials, but iron needs to be smelted twice, from iron ore to an iron, and then from iron to refined iron. So I'm gonna get all of those machines and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have most of the machinery I need, I think. I got myself an extractor, five smelters, five furnaces, 
and macerator. I got myself 14 transformer upgrades because at the beginning I will go for medium voltage for all those machines, but they may upgrade to high voltage uh, in the future. So just, uh, you know, got myself whatever I need for the future. And also seven overclocker upgrades uh, just to make it faster. Those are all some spare books that I'm trying to get rid of and not so successfully. All right, so one more thing is to actually begin with some power generation. I'm going to steal that medium voltage uh, solar array that I had here. I don't need it here anymore. There is no real use for it here. And I don't really mind losing it here. There is, again, as I said, no real use. And having some initial power to begin with, obviously most of it will be powered eventually by the actual solar arrays, but to begin with having some power Free power will be nice. Let's actually get some extra fiber cables. And I believe I can get started. This is unnecessary. Alright, so keep in mind that I'm pretty sure going doing it as uh, like I'm going as I'm doing it. This is something that I haven't done before. So will be slightly funny, but it will work, hopefully. Alright, so let's uh, start with the actual solar array most basic one will require coal, glass, electronic circuits, and a generator. So let's, I always like to start from, like from the most complicated to the most simple. So solar panel still needs uh, these two recipes. So let's actually start with the circuit. So let's start with creating the circuit line. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so electronic circuit requires redstone, copper cable, refined iron, and that's it. So let's start with the co co copper cable recipes. So for copper cabling, I'm gonna need some resin processed into rubber, and I'm gonna need copper processed into copper ingot. So let's start with uh, my fabricator. I'm gonna elevate this a bit uh, because there will be some going down. Actually, I should have brought myself some filters and timers as well, but they're gonna have to wait and I guess. All right, so let's start from the actual resin. So pasting down the resin recipe, this fabricator will create resin. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna need my filters now. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a problem. So bear that. All right, so I got my filters. Uh, no timers yet, but the timers will be the final thing because this may have some uh, modifications in the future. All right, so uh, where, where is my uh, wrench? My screwdriver, there it is. Okay, so the filter will be placed like this here. or actually can be placed down, like here. Uh, doesn't need to actually choose whatever it filters, there is uh, no difference whatsoever. So, you know what, I've changed my mind, it will be here, because, so you'll understand why. And I'm gonna have my extractor here. This will require, I'm gonna have first the relay, Rotate it, and the extractor itself. Okay, so this will require energy, so I'm gonna to need to keep that in mind wherever my energy wiring may go. So my extractor here, this again will create resin, so go in here and get extracted. Once it's extracted, it will have available resin in its inventory. All right, great. Now, um, sorry, it will have available rubber in the inventory. So next up, I'm going to need to take care of copper. So for copper, I'm going to go, uh, let's put it like, hmm, let's have it like this. So this will be copper. Now copper is created like this. Yep. So copper dust will have the same uh, idea going from the actual thing into a relay. Come on. Into a smelter, electronic furnace, electric furnace. Two transformers, one overclocker. All right, so these two together will have adjusted inventories with copper ingots and um, uh, rubber. And I can then place the fabricator right between them and create the actual recipe for the copper cabling. 
Now I am actually not certain which type of copper will I get from here, so let's actually give this a test. If I give it 3 UU matter and power it on using my medium voltage solar array, which type of ingot will it give me? This is actually quite important. Okay, it will give me this type of ingot. Alright, so I can break this. So it will look like this. And, or actually, let's get the resin first. Yeah, there we go. This, uh, I don't know why this happened. Actually, I do know why this happened. Let's just get rid of it. Okay, so this one will give me copper cables. Next up in the actual electronic circuit lane is redstone. Redstone is no problem. Uh, the actual problem is refined iron. So I'd like to have again everything quite close by. So let's have, um, let's say here I'm gonna have my refined iron or not refined iron. This will be an actual smelter. Actually, let's bring it from the side. Okay, this will be the actual recipe for copper for the actual electronic circuit. Here I'm gonna have this will be the UU matter recipe for redstone, <clears throat> like this. And for refined iron, I'm gonna have something that looks like this. As I'm going with this, I'm noticing that there may be some problems in the future, but uh, yeah, it's just there is no way to, to find them unless I start doing it. All right, so this will create the refined iron from a filter with, again, a relay. So this will be another electronic furnace, which will create the actual iron itself. So I forgot to place the upgrades. Again, another one of those relay filter. And this will have the UU matter recipe for uh, iron. I think it's a cross. Yep, iron ore, smelted, smelted again. Now this will also be um, a storage area for iron. You know what, actually I would like not to have a relay here. I would like to have, um, or you know what? Okay, let's have it like this. This will also be a buffer area for iron, and this will also be a buffer area for iron. You need to keep that in mind. Okay, so now I've got myself uh, the electronic circuit. Of course, I'm going to need to connect everything with the UU Matter uh, Ender Chest Network. This is why I created three chests. I'm going to need to obviously create some more. Okay, so I've got my um, electronic circuit recipe made. Now let's have the generator recipe made. Now for the generator, I'm going to need refined iron, which I already made here, which is good. I'm going to need um, an iron furnace, which I haven't made yet, and um, RE batteries. All right, so let's actually, I think I'm going to go for this recipe. It will be easier for me. So if I'm going to be placing, for example, or you know what, I may want to actually go for this recipe. Yeah, okay, let's, let's have the generator recipe right here. So the generator recipe will be this. So I'm gonna need to take care of batteries. Refined iron is already taken care of because it will be created here. And iron furnaces. Now iron furnace I can create here because this will be uh, in the iron buffer. So let's create the iron furnace recipe here. I'm gonna go for the expensive recipe. So only thing I'm short on is the RE battery. Now the RE battery is created with tin and tin and redstone and again copper cabling. Now I already have the copper cabling made, but I'm gonna need to move it around. This is the copper cabling. Uh, this will probably have to be moved around if I'm gonna have the actual final recipe here for the solar um, panel, basic one. I'm gonna need to move this copper cabling uh, somehow into 
another network that will actually create um, the batteries. So let me think about how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go for something which looks kind of odd. I'm going to go for this fabricator right here. By the way, did I place my overclockers everywhere? Yeah. Okay, so this fabricator right here will create the batteries. So, um, RE battery, like, I'm going to go for this recipe. Uh, the tinning it will need to change. Okay, so it understands. I'm going to need another redstone uh, creation system. So yeah, it does seem wasteful, but I, it, it will be better than having those tubes running all over the place. And I may, I can even probably change the entire thing to look nice, but I like the way it looks. So this will create redstone. And I'm going to need actually a buffer chest, which I forgot to bring. I don't want to send items directly here because that will cause a problem. So I'm going to need a buffer chest. And this will be, I'm also going to need the tin network. So let me get those. So actually, let's do the tin network. This will create tin. We'll create it from here. This will be extracting tin from here. And this will be tin. I think tin is like this. Yep. So tin will be in this smelter. Smelting away tin, which will be available for this fabricator. Now it also has redstone, you just need to take care of the uh, copper cables. Let me get the buffer chest. Okay, so I got my buffer chest, so I'm gonna get lost here very, very soon. Okay, so from this line, I'm gonna need to draw a filter, which will go down. There is no other way, pretty much. I think, uh, yeah, this is down into a tubing network. I brought some tubes specifically for this. Um, I have it like this. Oh, actually, now it's the bad way. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of timers for this. And have the actual chest right here. It will be a little bit ugly, but it will be fine. I can't access it because this block blocks it, but there is no problem. So this one will get copper cables in here. And this one will create the generators, hopefully. And this one will create solar panels. All right, so I got my first part of the entire thing made. It looks kind of scary, I won't lie. I, I, I will agree with you, but it does take care of, uh, I think, most of the problems. I didn't use the macerator yet because I didn't care, take care of coal yet and I didn't use uh, glass yet. All right, so let's do, take care of coal. Let's bring coal uh, from here. And it will macerate coal. So let's have the relay going down. The filter will be extracting stuff out of this fabricator which will be creating coal and coal is created like hmm, how to create coal all right so coal is created like this there you go so this will create coal for me get macerated and this will give me uh the coal dust and the last part is only glass glasses can you glass you can create directly using UV matter you don't actually have to use uh, sand you just do it like this and you got yourself glass all right, so I got my fabricator network done. The only machine that I haven't used is the electric furnace. Why didn't use it? Oh, I didn't smelt gold yet. All right, but I do have the most basic building block available to me. All right, so let's continue. So from here, I actually rather not use any sort of moving system if I don't have to. So I'm gonna have the next part in the chain right here, which will be from solar panel to go to the low voltage solar panels. So they will need uh, eight solar panels, which will be created here, and an LV transformer. LV transformer will be created. Uh, how to create an LV transformer? I'm gonna need some copper cabling. I'm gonna need some copper, and I'm gonna need some wood. So 
copper cabling I can probably steal from here again. This will be the LV transformer, by the way. Okay, so I'm gonna need some copper cabling. I'm gonna steal another lane from here. And some wood will not be a problem. Some copper, however, might be. Where am I smelting copper? I forgot. This is where I'm smelting copper. So actually very nicely I can steal from here. But I am, okay, I, can, I will have some power. Yeah, okay, no problem. I'm just making sure there won't be any problem with, problems with connecting power and also connecting redstone signals for the timers. All right, so this is copper. This is, um, oh, I can't access it. This is cable. And for wood, you can just place uh, this one here and another one here. This will create wood out of UU matter. And this will create the actual wood blocks out of this. All right. So I got my low voltage solar array. Okay, guys, I just noticed that the episode length is quite okay. I'm going to end this episode right here and continue next, one, next time. This is looking quite scary already. I won't agree. And this is not the end of it. I'm still going to need to connect ender chests and timers and the actual power network. But once it's done, it's going to be awesome because it's going to be rather compact and rather efficient. And yeah. All right. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.